So Terence, you've really come quite a long way since your days on Shorten Street. I mean, you are practically an A-list celebrity now, aren't you? Oh, I wouldn't say that. I mean, some people do say that. In fact, it actually does say that in the latest OK magazine. Yeah, someone brought this in. Um, just a picture of me here with Miley Cyrus and uh, Chad Michael Murray. Caption reads, star-studded party attended by Hollywood A-listers. So yeah, I guess it's in print there. You wanna check it out? But, uh, oh, wow. I mean, I don't buy into that, you know. Who reads that? You read that? Yeah, same. Despite your countless international blockbusters. Four. Right, um, this is your first New Zealand film. What attracted you to this role? Well, it's chemistry. You know, it's difficult to explain why isotopes and neutrons behave the way they do. Just like it's difficult to explain how two people, when they're in the same room, get the sudden urge to rip each other's clothes off and leap on each other and make wild love like savage tigers. God. It's really hot in here. Do you mind if I just open a window or something? Oh, yeah, of course. Let me do it. How's that? Perfect. It's interesting you gave the film five stars. When Dominic Corrie of the Herald on Sunday called it the film that finally proves that Terence Benet has the acting ability of a league player on trial for rape. Well, everyone's entitled to their own opinion, James. Yeah, but he's actually seen the film. Sorry I'm late. The crew just arrived with these 42 below party tickets. Does anyone want to go? <laughs> Oh, man, I've been waiting all year for this. <laughs> Covering all year, you mean? Oh, you know it. Helen's last year, they had to carry me and Brooksy home on a pallet jack. <laughs> me and Brooksy have decided when we go out, we're going to have aliases, like superheroes. I'm Johnny Hardcore. Guess what Brooksy is? You guys found high school quite difficult, didn't you? Oh, yeah. Jackie, do you want the other ticket? <laughs> I don't think so, Nanette. You can have it. Really? Yeah. You've earned it. Thanks. That's very nice of you, Jackie. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to vomit at my mouth. <laughs> This is my house. Uh, full time. Fuck, oh, What's coming to you? You're playing like a woman possessed. What can I say, Kim Shree? I think I might be in love. Jackie, what have I told you about it? Because it's their job to be charming. Whatever. No way. You should have seen it. He was eye fumbling me hard out. Okay. Well, I guess I'll see it for myself at the 42 Below Party. What? You are coming, right? I sent a bunch of tickets to the station. Jackie, I told you this party is Prioritas Maximus. Piss! I gave my ticket to the intern. Can I go with you? They're only single passes. Well, can I have it? What? Oh, come on, Kim. I really need this. No. Look, I'm not going there to socialise. I'm going there to network. Hey, you guys really ought to warm down if you want to avoid an injury. <laughs> oh, God. Tom, your eggs are gone free range. Look, I'll try and get you another ticket, but I wouldn't count on it. Ticket? What for? Nothing. 42 below party tomorrow night. Wait a minute. You guys are supposed to come see me perform with the improv wizards. Says who? Oh, come on. I'm relying on you guys to fill up the seats. Tom, no offence, but I fucking hate improv comedy. Why? Because it's improvised. And what's so great about this party? Well, nothing. It's just that there's going to be loads of VIPs here, so it's really important for both of our careers that we go, all right? All right. Well, I'm coming too. No, you're not. No, I am. I think it'd be really good for my career. You don't have a career. That's all the more reason to go. Look, it's just going to be famous people. You're not going to know anyone. Don't worry about me. I know how to work a room. Tom, you're not media savvy, all right? The conversations are going to be way over your head. And anyway, you don't have a ticket. Neither do you. Well, what about your improv wizards? What are they going to do? They'll just have to improvise, won't they? Like I said, it sucks, but it was mine anyway, so... But it's tonight, and all my friends are going, and I've already paid for my costume. What do you mean? It's a costume party. And maybe you go as an Indian. Pardon? You know, like Indian giver. Stay out of it, Coleman. What's the theme? Winter Wonderland. But... Nanette, I'm going to count to three, OK? If you make me count to four, you will regret it. Ticket. You'll get over it. If you don't get in, Kim's not dropping you off. You're going to have to walk home. Jackie, who in their right mind is going to turn me away looking like this? Why didn't I just get a one bedroom place? Never turn your back on love. Never, never, never let it in and swing. Like a tating. She can love it down and shine your shoes. Watch out, keep your windows down. Tomorrow it will be you. All right, Tommy, prove you're pointing it away that all night. Yeah, deal with it. Stay in fashion, make some cash. You really got nothing left to lose. Oh my god, there he is. Tom? 
Well, well, well. Hello, little brother. I like your costume. Thanks. Yeah, it makes you look cool. Well, it is a costume party, so... Yeah, I don't tend to dress up unless I'm being paid for it. Uh, have you called Mum? Well, it's kind of a whirlwind press thing, so I haven't really had time. Clearly you've got time now. Oh, uh, do I? Well, actually, I'm drinking, so I don't. Probably just say hello. Look, I'm not going to call it tonight, all right? So just drop it. Look, why don't you come and have a drink with us in the VIP area? Uh, because I don't want to? Well, I tried. Suit yourself. Your brothers? Only biologically. But he's so perfect looking. How come you never told us that your brother is an internationally famous actor? Because I don't want to talk about it. But it's Terence Benet. Hang on a minute. Why do you call yourself Tom Bennett? Because that's our name. He only changed his name to Benet so he could sound even more like an asshole. Tom, all siblings have spats, but just consider a truce so we can get into the VIP area, please. You don't understand, all right? I don't want to be anywhere near him. Shut my door. I need a drink. I can't believe it. The man of my dreams and the man of my misfortunes while I shared the same uterus. How messed up is that? Buddy. Buddy. Hey, mate. I'm well, invisible. The ball cut. Hi, Terence. Janice. Jackie. Ah. Jackie. Well, how are you? Oh, great. I'm really good. Yeah, thank cool. you for asking. How are you? Fine. Funny about you and Tom being brothers. Why is that funny? No reason. I'm his flatmate. All oh, right. So I suppose you know the whole story then? Not the whole story. Well, look, for what it's worth, he's my brother. And I still love him. So pretty. What's that? Oh, I said it's pretty rare, that kind of brotherly bond thing. Hey, Torvo, where's Dean? <laughs> oh, man! <laughs> Get up, Brendo, you dick! Hey, look who it is, it's Ernest Rutherford. Hey, Ernest, where's your moustache? <laughs> hey, dickhead, where's your self-respect? <laughs> oh! Look, you didn't hear this from me, but I think it's only right that you should know. Oliver Driver's dog gets paid more than you guys. Fuck off. True story. What's Ollie getting there? You don't want to know. God, that makes me angry. I mean, he's, he's so one-dimensional. He's one-dimensional. I know. It's just... <sighs> Look, the bottom line is you guys work way too hard for way too little. And all I'm saying is maybe it's time you let someone go in and bat for you both on your behalf. No sporting pun intended. Too shake him. Too shake. Your outfit is awesome. Likewise. Hey, you're, you're Jackie's flatmate, eh? Oh, yeah. Uh, Tom. Ah. Yeah. Hi, I'm Sarita. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Hey, guys, you're looking good. Can I get a little shot of two together? Oh. Come on, don't be shy. Get closer in, guys. That's lovely. Hi, Nori, babes. How's it going? Oh, great. Excuse me. Wow, Jackie, you look you look amazing. Thanks. You look interesting. Hey, sorry, we just got to head off. Do you still need a lift to Yeah. Why where are you guys going? No way. Walrus enclosure. What's that? Mike Sainsbury's house. Right. Yeah, he throws like the best party after parties in town. Hey, you uh, you guys should come. But... Oh thanks. No, 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 we don't need to because we're going to the VIP area, eh, Tom? News to me. Well, um, I'll give you my number. So if you change your mind, you know, I can give you a call or whatever. <laughs> We'll be there all night, so. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. It's okay. Okay, okay go, go. Yeah, let's. Bye, Kim. I'll see you at work. Bye, Jackie. Yeah, Kim will be in touch. Yeah, definitely. How dare you fraternise with the enemy? You can talk. Oh, what are you talking about? Your brother seems lovely. You don't know anything about him. He's arrogant, he's conceited, and he only thinks about himself. What am I saying? You two are perfect for each other. Why don't you just tell us what happened? 1992. My father was a cobbler and he worked there every day after school. As Terence was the oldest, Dad wanted him to take over the business. Terence wanted me to help, but I was determined to chase my dreams of becoming an actor. Then one day there was an ad in the paper that said they were having auditions for a Dickies porridge commercial. Naturally, my whole family was hassling me to go. 
except Terence. I'd never been more nervous in my life. But I nailed that audition. I mean, I really nailed it. And fame and fortune was in my grasp. Hey, little bro, how'd you go? Then I was betrayed. I was crushed. And so were my dreams. Dickie's porridge went on to become a cultural phenomenon. Terence became a megastar. I mean, a year later, he changed his name to Benet. Became the hunky new nurse on Shorten Street. Pretty soon Hollywood called. And next thing you know, he was starring in a film opposite Jean-Claude Van Damme. If he'd just stayed in the car, it would have been me. No, I would have been on Shorten Street. I would have gone to Hollywood. I would have been in a film with Jean-Claude Van Damme. I'm just leaving, actually. Fuck. I mean, you can't leave. You're the guest of honour. Look, the only thing people want to talk to me about is what it was like to be in a Van Damme movie. No one wants to know what it's like to portray one of the nation's greatest heroes. It's the pressure I'm under to try and do justice to that man's legacy. I would so be interested in talking to you about that. I really would, all night, if necessary. No relation. Please. Hey, guys. Terence is coming with us to the Warriors Cave. So you didn't want to go? Whatever, it was my idea. OK, I'll have to take my car, because Tom's not going to fit in the taxi. Tom, you can always dump your costume, you know. Well, I would, but then I'd be naked. Well, how are we going to fit in your car if he's in the back? You just have to sit on Terence's lap. OK, let's go. So, what's your story, Deborah Harry? Oh, I'm a publicist for TV3. Oh, OK, cool. Yeah. But I'm actually looking at starting up my own talent management company. OK. I'm looking for representation back home. I haven't found the options very attractive. That is until now. <laughs> what do you say you and I catch up for a coffee next week? You can show me your portfolio. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Now, do you see what I mean about me and Terence? Not really. Well, he came to this party with me, didn't he? And you didn't just notice him flirting with me? Uh, no, I didn't, actually. But I noticed you flirting with him. I'll tell you something else. I do not appreciate it. Hardly. As soon as I got in the car, he was commenting on my perfume. Well, it's hard not to when you splash it on like some Portuguese prostitute. Jackie, sleeping with Terence isn't going to do anything for your career. I'm not doing it for my career. Well, I am. <laughs> Look, if Terence signs with me, I can quit my job tomorrow. And I'm sorry, but I'm not going to sacrifice that just so you can collect another celebrity shag batch. Hey, uh, Tom, check this out. I got a text. Congratulations. No, look who it's from. Drew. Drew Barrymore? How do I know it's from Drew Barrymore? It could be from anyone. Well, no, it couldn't, Tom, because I just told you it's from fucking Drew Barrymore. What are you playing at? What do you mean? This? Why are you coming to this party? Well, I was invited by Janice. Oh, I didn't think she was your type. I don't have a type. Mind you, the less attractive ones do make more of an effort. Don't even think about it. Oh, I know what's going on. Oh, Tommy's got a crush on his flatmate. I don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. I just... I care about her a lot, and I don't want you trying anything, OK? Well, I won't have to try, will I? Oh, my God, you're such an asshole. Look, Tom, I didn't ask for this face. <sighs> oh, wow. Haven't heard this song in years. And I Hey, Sarita, it's Tomage, Tomstar. 
Tommy Hilfiger. Uh, that's not my name, sorry. Hey, look, change of plans. I will come to that party after all. What is the locale? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Straight. Hey. Hey! Hey, what? What's going on? Hey! Oi! There's someone in here! Help! Yeah! <laughs> wow. That's awesome. Oh, shit! What? Well, it's a costume, and it's not actual. Yeah, I understand. Well, I appreciate what you're doing. Um, if he shows up, you've got my number. Oh, and please don't give my number out to anyone. Just, yeah, you know, some people do that. Thank you. Well, there's still no sign of him. I guess all we can do is wait. But anyway, cheers. Cheers. No, this sucks. I've been waiting all year for this party, and it's already over before 1 a.m. Don't worry about it, mate. Sainzo's gig will make the 42 Below party look like a Paris picnic. All we have to do is find out where it is. Brooksy, Sainsbury's like the head of the media social elite. He doesn't want to hang around with a couple of mainstream radio hacks. Listen, mate, it's just your endorphins cramping and going into chemical arrest. You have to stay positive. Do I know how to get to Mark Sainsbury's? Just wondering if maybe I could one of your sheep cozies. Throw it out there. All right, JB. If you want this, you're gonna have to work for it. Hurry up and think of something insightful to say to shift the focus away from Kim. I like your toilet. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's amazing. Not bad, Brown. Not bad. Wow. The blonde looks like she's straight out of an Archie comic. Imagine that. I could be doing it with a cartoon. Mind you, the brunette's a lot cuter with a kid off. Damn it, I can't decide. Hang on a minute, what am I saying? <laughs> You're Terence Bonet. You don't have to choose. Well, I think it's pretty clear where this is heading. Yeah. Oh, well, don't feel bad, because you tried your best, eh? <laughs> Jackie, he wants a three-way. <laughs> what? No, he doesn't. He's waiting for you to leave. Really? Well, I guess it's better than nothing. What? Oh, come on, you've done stuff like this before. Yeah, but not with anyone I knew. Oh, so it's fine for you to have group sex with total strangers, but not with one of your best friends? Basically, yeah. What are you doing? Oh, nothing, God, I'm just trying it out. Oh. Oh, Sandy, what's wrong with the window? Why won't I get down? The window doesn't work, man. Dude, I'm gonna totally... I'm gonna totally spew in your cab if you don't put the window down now. There's a $50 fine if you do. 50 bucks. Oh, damn it, can someone spot me in 10? Brenda, oh. use mine. Oh. 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 Okay, good. Can I perhaps just explain how I see this working from here on in? Oh, for fuck's sake. Tom! I just came to say thanks. Ah, oh, fuck! What was that for? Hey! Tom, settle down! Stop it! What are you doing? Look, just calm down, Tom. What exactly are you trying to achieve? This! Oh, you right! Come here. You had enough? Huh? You done? You finished? Come on! Ah! Oh, my face! Good one, sheep shit. You could have broken my nose. It's probably fear seeing how you broke my life. Oh, that's bullshit, Tom, and you know it. You just can't face the truth, which is that I'm a better actor than you. Oh, please. Whatever small ability you have, I've got in spades. Yeah? Yeah. Well, let's prove it then. How? The only way any actor can prove his worth. A cry off. What? You heard me. First one to break water wins. I'm not gonna cry in front of you. Why is that? Afraid to go there. All right. You're on. Am I? Yeah. That means we're both on. Let's do it, bitch. Oh! <gasps> oh! <gasps> 
to tell. Yeah, could just be sweet. Oh, what's the point? <sighs> Tom, you're right. I'm just an asshole. You're not an asshole. You just didn't want to spend the rest of your life fixing shoes. I understand. I think about it every day, you know. If I could turn back the clock, I would. Well, if I had your brooding intensity and perfect bone structure, I probably would have done the same thing. We're family. We'll always have that. Even though we don't talk and I hate you? I want to take in your future. But you can't take my past. What does that even mean? <laughs> Looks like you win. Oh, I found my emotional recall. Thanks, little bro. You know what? The first thing I'm going to do when I get back to L.A. is hook you up with an agent. No, you won't. Well, it's a bit more complicated than that, but I'll definitely make some calls. Mm. Oh, God. That is just what I needed, you know? Fill the old tank. Ready to roll again. <laughs> hey, uh, Jackie, what do you say we grab a couple of baklavas, head back to the hotel, eh? You have quite a bit of hummus on your chin. Have I? Yeah. Sorry. Some, some tabbouleh in your teeth as well. Oh, really? Just a little... Oh, shit. Something else going on, I'm not really sure what it is. Hang on. You know what, Terence? I think I'm gonna call it a night. 